This is Season 2, Episode 5 of my Modular Journey, and today we're going to be talking about the Latic Q040 Quad Quantizer. Simply put, it has four input CVs for voltages that are 0 to 5, and then it will output quantized versions of whatever is coming in, uh, out the outputs, also 0 to 5 volts. Uh, the fourth channel, uh, that has, here's the four inputs, but the fourth one can then be changed to quints up here, quints, semitones, or octaves. So that means whatever is plugged into jack four will come out of jack four as quints, semitones, or octaves. So it's a pretty straightforward module. Uh, why did I pick it? Uh, because, of course, uh, LATIC modules are pretty amazing. Uh, they're pretty well built, uh, sturdy, they're small, uh, and they're inexpensive. And they, they usually pack a lot of functionality into them, like the random trigger gates, the s probability skipper, really quality stuff that I, that I enjoy. Uh, another reason that I picked this up is specifically for the price. If you go look at quad quantizers uh, on Modular Grid, for instance, and you note that the prices are hundreds of dollars for anything more than a simple one or two quantized quantizer module, this is 70 bucks US. Uh, I picked it up around January 10th, so it was one of the first purchases of the, the new season. Uh, how I plan to use it, this is destined for the System 100 rack. Uh, I want to be able to finely tune the voltages coming out of the sequencers, which are pretty hard to tune. And since there are four channels of sequencing, and there's four channels of VCOs, and a quad, a quad quantizer just kind of made sense. And again, C price. The price of this was wonderful compared to some of the outrageous hundreds of dollars for other multi-channel quantizers. So let me get this in the rack and, uh, and we'll, I'll show you just a quick demonstration of what it does and how I plan to use it. All right, we're in the rack and we're powered up. For this very, very basic demo I'm gonna do, I'm going to just take a slow LFO out of Oct over here at the far, far right of the rack. And I'm going to show first what uh, an unquantized LFO sounds like. I'm going to grab the slowest one. Plug it into the volt per octave of a chainsaw. And then turn up the volume. So this is what a slow rising pitch from an LFO sounds like to a to an oscillator. I speed it up a little. So this is just to show you that, that it is a very slow, slewed slope. <laughs> a lot of S's. <laughs> All right, so if I, that, if I then take this same slewed pitch into uh, the quantizer, and now I'm going to come out of quantizer one back up to chainsaw, volt per octave. Let's hit the volume again. So now you can hear the steps. Those are semitones. And you can hear when it hits the bottom of, of the zero volts of the quantizer, even though the oct over there is going lower, the quantizer can't go lower because that's its bottom end. So once the wave hits the bottom and comes back up, we'll start hearing steps again. So it's, it, honestly, it's that simple. Uh, it, it is, for, for how I plan to use it, is exactly like that. I'm going, to, I'm going to be sticking pitches into here that are maybe slightly out of tune. Uh, because again, the System 100 is really, the sequencers are really hard to tune. 
So I'll get them close and then, the, and then I'll stick their outputs into the quantizer. And then the quantizer will then quantize within a semitone of that, you know, to accurate voltage and then put out a pitch that's proper for the, for the oscillator. So it, it truly is that simple. Maybe I can show the octaves. Let me show that off one. See if I can see if I can successfully do this. So if I move the the input to channel four, switch the the switch to octaves, and then come down here to the output to channel four, you can now hear the quantizer is normalizing the pitches to the nearest octave that oct is putting out. I could speed that up a little. So again, you can, you can hear the zero to five volts that this is capable of doing, because and, and there's a lot more voltage coming out of the LFO than we can hear. So, all right, uh, that's it for episode five of, uh, of my modular journey with the Latic Q040 quad quantizer for channels of quantizing. Coming up next is an episode that's going to cover a few miscellaneous duplicate purchases because as the rack is growing, I realized I needed some more random triggers or skippers uh, and another another ST mix, you know, another small mixer to come out. So we'll be talking about that next. Uh, it, will, it will be another quick episode because uh, they've already been covered. Uh, but I just want to point out uh, in this season that I did need more of those things and why. So stay tuned for that.